It's been a while, but the enslaved skeletons that do our bidding have finally produced the next Dread Delusion update. This time, there's a meaty questline to dig your filthy teeth into, a brand new dungeon, and a number of improvements to the combat system. Let's dive in and have a look. So, until now, the hunt for Vila Colos has led to a dead end, as Dread Delusion's main storyline has been absent beyond the starting island. But with this update, a suspicious figure has appeared in the Wobbly Noggin Tavern. His name is Jack Basil, one of Vila's Dark Star mercenaries, and he's the first of many that you're going to have to track down to find Vila herself. But finding the next Dark Star will prove tougher than walking into a pub. Folk call her the Imberian, on account of her ancient armour and implausibly large greatsword, and you'll need to do a bit of detective work to track her down. Of course, she couldn't be a real Imberian, could she? Because the Imberian civilization died out 400 years ago in the World Rend. Either way, this update features a lot of Imberian stuff, as with this quest, we really wanted to put the spotlight on this mysterious civilization. The quest will eventually see you fighting through the narrow streets of the brand new dungeon town, Rustburg, where the brigands and lowlives will be more than happy to slit your throat and steal your purse. But as for where the quest ends up, you'll have to play it yourself to find out. Also featured in this update is a revamp to the Dark Star flagship, The Blinding Light, where the player first encounters Vila. We've improved its interior, and added a new player housing section in the tower at the top. You'll get access to these upgradable rooms as soon as you beat the tutorial. Plus, any characters you recruit through the main storyline will be returning here. We've also spruced up Dread Delusion's combat system with the help of seasoned game dev Kira, whose games Lost in Vivo and Lunacid you may very well have heard of. Combat animations have been greatly improved, with both player weapons and the camera now reacting dynamically to player input. There are also new throwing weapons that can be used like an item, and even upgraded with poison. Also, our new programmer, Photocopy Adora, who's worked on the beautiful First Land, has also made huge improvements to the AI system to massively improve the stability of enemy code. Finally, we've also made some tweaks to the stamina system to further balance combat. In particular, stamina now regenerates much faster, and it should be a lot easier to time a successful parry. Anyway, that's it for now. We really hope you enjoy the new additions to Dread Delusion, and as always, we're eager to hear your feedback. Until next time, peace out.